This clip of the Texas Bucket List is brought to you by Spirit of Texas Bank and Slovacek Sausage. Howdy, and welcome to the Texas Bucket List, the show dedicated to everything there is to see, do, and experience here in the Lone Star State. My name is Shane McAuliffe, and this week, not only are we going to wet your whistle, we're also going to get a whole lot of grub. We start things off in downtown Houston at a place that's turned the tide of Texas craft beer, and it might just be divine intervention. Over at the St. Arnold Brewing Company, founder Brock Wagner took a passion and has turned it into a highly regarded Texas brew. But when looking for a home for his brewery, Brock wanted some place where friends, family, and fans of beer could all come together. That's why we stopped and took a sip at the St. Arnold Brewery. Just a few miles northeast of downtown Houston, you'll find an over 100-year-old building that used to serve as the frozen food warehouse for the Houston Independent School District. Now it serves a completely different purpose, and instead of taking food out, people are now bringing food in. Tours are at 12, 1, and 2. That's because you have to have something to snack on when you visit the St. Arnold Brewery. Enjoy. This really distinguishes Houston as a cool place. Every time we come here, we have a blast. My dream was to have a place just like this. I wanted to be in an old building near downtown. The Houston-based brew is Texas's oldest craft brewery, and it was all the brainchild of founder Brock Wagner. If I get good looking, you're cut off. <laughs> Brock got serious about his brew while in college, where he studied the suds. Well, it started off as uh, kind of a dream. Uh, I mean, I was a home brewer in college, uh, learned to home brew while I was at Rice. So technically, I'm actually using what I learned at Rice. Although the more tokens you use, the funnier I get. I just wish we had more, more tokens. <laughs> It wasn't until a short stop in the business world that Brock realized he had a serious passion. A passion for pilsners, ales, and stouts. I always knew I wanted to have my own company. That, I mean, starting going all the way back to probably when I was in elementary school. Um, but it was after college, after having a different career and hating my job, that I realized that I needed to do something I was passionate about, and I was passionate about beer and brewing. So in January of 1993, Brock quit his job. A year and a half later, he opened the St. Arnold Brewing Company. Named after the patron saint of brewers, St. Arnold gave Brock a divine vision for Texas craft beer. The only problem, he had to pop a top and prove to the public that craft beer was cool. Nobody in Houston knew what craft beer was in 1994. There were probably about 37 people who did, and I knew them all. <laughs> he opened his brewery to tours, and things started off slower than an aging ale. Our first Saturday, we had 10 people. Uh, the second Saturday, we had two people. I had a goal of getting 25 people on Saturdays. 50 was like pie in the sky. 20 years later, things have changed a whole heck of a lot. <laughs> the brewery now serves lunch and gives tours six days a week. But the big crowds come on Saturday for family outings, games, food, and of course, samples of St. Arnold. My son-in-law brought me the first time we enjoyed it. We've come back a couple of times, it's really fun. Actually having the open space here, everybody gets together, it's really cool. We actually have made friends here that we hang out with, like, in, outside of this. <laughs> the St. Arnold Beer Hall looks like it could have been dropped in straight from Germany. Part of what we do is we create an environment where people have fun. It's not a drunk, rowdy place. It's a very social, very happy place where people feel very comfortable bringing their kids. And of course, the kids can drink the root beer. <laughs> While the brewery has started to sell food, the age-old tradition of bringing your own is still welcome. You know, we would provide people with beer, but we didn't provide any food. So people started bringing snacks. And we noticed over the years, the, the food that people would bring would become progressively more ornate and, and complicated. Whether you're celebrating a birthday or just enjoying some pizza, you'll find all sorts of snacks here from all over the world, and trading is allowed. We were trying to, they had cupcakes over there. 
they look good. This Japanese group would bring the weirdest stuff. You know, it, it's interesting how different cultures have very different beer foods. So I would always go over and try their stuff because it would be something I'd never had before. These spicy peas, uh, other weird spicy, lots of dried things. In fact, I enjoyed most all of it except one day they brought this dried, salted, I think it was squid. And that was the one thing I put in my mouth and had one of those. <laughs> As we stick to the beer, there's one thing Brock truly believes about his business. It's all about being responsible. People will sometimes approach us and say, hey, we want you to get involved in this uh, sponsor, a beer pong tournament. We're like, no, that's absolutely not what we're about. We're about, you know, have one or two beers, enjoy it. That's really all you need to do. And when you enjoy beer that way, you know, it's great for bringing people together. It's a, it's a social lubricant. It has a real positive effect because beer is something that if you have too much of, it's not a good thing, so. Meeting new people, introducing your palate to new flavors, and just having a good time with friends and family makes pulling up a seat at the St. Arnold Brewery a precious place for a poor on the Texas bucket list. It's amazing people bring their own chairs, bring their own food, games, having beer, having a good time. It's awesome. Well, it's the best beer in the state. Come on down. <laughs> I think it's quintessential for a Texan experience. It's a great part of Houston. It's where you see the community come together. Um, you know, we're the oldest craft brewery in Texas, so I think that's something special. <laughs> I think we create an experience you won't get any place else in Texas or, frankly, in the country.